last time on Crypt World. My bladder is pleased by this. And so it continues. Okay. We have many, many skulls. This is cool. I can use this. As you can see from my seeds, meats, and crumbs, I have so many seeds, meats, and crumbs. I have more piss than I know what to do with, even though I have an advanced bladder that may or may not be cybernetically enhanced and magically enhanced. Hmm. Either way, this is the third day, so, yep, there is the horrible screaming murder. Hello, sir. Oh, oh, where did you find that? I thought all of those tapes were destroyed in the Great War. Quick, let me sign it. The value is through the roof. You got a tape signed. Now it's worth even more. Somebody will definitely want this. And we know who. Ah, the gold and the bones have respawned. Cool. I can go around and redo that in just a second. Hey, Bert, I have something for you. Trade sign tape for Liak house key and 100 gold? Sure. My whole life until now has revolved around obtaining this most elusive object. And now, here it is, signed, beyond comprehension. Oh, is this the end? Or only the beginning? Eh, I'll watch it later. Here's your stuff. We got 100 gold and the Liak house key. The door located somewhere in the crypt. Let's party. I'm trying to remember where it is. I think it may be over in this direction. I got a bone. Yes, this is it. And this is, well, maybe the third to last thing that I have to show in this game, as far as locations go. Here we are, in the house. I said that this would be uh, very familiar to us when, uh, for, for some reason, there's a picture of this place in hell. I am vaguely sure that's a picture of Victoria from Thief. Mm, I might be wrong. Hey, a tiny little pilgrim. Let's go talk to him. Hello, tiny little pilgrim. That's a very large burger you have. Help, help, I've been shrunk. Gah! You're so cute. What do you have to say about that, Spico? Yes, yeah, Spico here. Doesn't this place feel uncomfortably familiar? Hmm. No, I must be playing too many video games. Ah, the 21st century is a constant blur. Anyway, see you around, kid. Beep, beep. Perhaps this is somebody's home or something. Hmm. I don't know. It is Elizabeth of the Woods. Sup? Looks like we're going to be roommates now, huh? Oh, I wouldn't know about that. I have a garden I need to tend to. I grow corpses there. That is one big couch. Cool. This makes me actually feel pretty comfy. I like this. Don't expect me to play you any movies or anything. Are you sure? We have horrible screaming murder- Oh no, I gave that away. Two seeds. Ah, piss upgrade. There we go. That is the final piss upgrade. I'm pretty sure. I know I've said that before. But we can now carry 500 gold and 500 piss. Also bones. Not sure why these look like that. Can I climb in there? I can't climb in there. That makes me sad for some reason. Hello, Crystal Ball. I literally have no clue what this is supposed to be. It's got a little handle on the bottom. Hmm. It's got kind of a Crystal Ball-esque feel to it. It's floating. Maybe this is one of those purifying crystals for creating bergs. Only this one works for can pancakes. A man can dream. Can I talk to you, Skull? No. Ah! What do you know? What, what does it say? Huh. The Dictionnaire Crypt 
Arcticus. A real gem with the canon of Western literature. I might need to check it out sometimes. This comes with uh, a copy of the uh, dictionary comes with the game. Always. Always. So repeated picture. Kind of repeated picture. Brand new picture. If anybody knows if this is an in-joke or something, please leave a comment or post in the something awful thread. I'm I'm kind of confused as to what's up with these pictures. Alright, we are almost done with the episode, and I don't care how long it runs. Probably, probably not as long as it feels. So we have one more thing to do before I call this episode done. Let's glitch the game out. Best way to do it is to talk to a whole bunch of people. It might take a while, but eventually, you'll start running into that. Two? There we go. They're starting to mess up. Now whenever you talk to anybody, it just does this. What do you have to say, cliff -ibe? I see. Well, I can safely say shit's broke, yo. Let's go ahead and climb up here. And as soon as you leave... Warning, things are about to get very loud. I'll give you about five seconds to take off your headphones and lower your volume. Four, three, was... Wait, was that too fast? That, was, that wasn't seconds. Time's up. Welcome to hell. It's very loud here. Error says, look up. Everything is contained in these points. Every aspect of our being of, you, of yours can be viewed as such. Anyway, get out of here. You're interrupting my meditation. Oh, good lord, what have we done? In your world, we are broken. A shell of ourselves. But here we are perfect, growing to assimilate all forms. Your world will grow into us, no escape. That certainly sounds fine. All forms may be broken. When broken down enough, they become something new, removed from its assigned meaning. Something perfect in its way. And you come here to say otherwise? You are worthless here. Oh god, it's so loud. Well, I like you. The people here can be kind of snarky, but if you need anywhere to stay, you're more than welcome to lodge with me. God damn, please, somebody turn it down. Oh man. I might be tripping balls a little bit. Just a little bit. How fortunate that there's really nothing else around here, mostly. Well, these guys certainly know how to party. But I think it's time to move on. It's just too loud. Alright, here we go. The boss of this particular level. We had to become a cyborg in order to gain enough power to defeat him. It, you can fall off the edge here, but if you do, all it does... Bye! It's put you right back at the glitched out area. So it's time to show down with this guy and teach him what for. What's up? You have fallen, but due to a technical error, you have started at the beginning of this area once more. Now go beat up that big glitch. That sounds like a good idea. You think you can defeat us? Ha, huh, what a fool. Come back when you have a brain, dweeb. I have a brain and a giant cannon attached to both of it. No, act, no, you don't have any decency? No, I don't, sir. Come on, get off. Get out of here, nobody loves you. Stop rolling that way, roll the other way. There we go. He has now been defeated, I think. 
Oh, thank God. So, oh, God. My throat from, from yelling. I hope that wasn't too loud for everyone. I'll probably try to dial it down for you folks or put a warning before that. Oh, man, that was really loud. Well, so, it looks like everything seems to be... Whoa, uh, hmm. Err. You've defeated the big glitch and now broken the very essence of this land. You may now return to your world, but not without some slight changes. Well, let's see what those changes are. Hmm. Fortunately, my favorite picture has survived. But this cowboy scene's new. It reads, Winners don't do drug. Well, all right, I guess. And tips their hat. Yes, yeah, Spico here. My advice? Get out of the house, etc., etc. And tips their hat. You can probably guess what the theme is here. This alien is turned into a cowboy and tips their hat. Interesting. We have we have skulls with little cowboy eyes. But these seem all right. Most everybody has turned into a cowboy. Well, maybe not everybody. But the cowboys, whenever you talk to them, they tip their hat at the end. But we finally have two new additions. One, this door was not here before. I wonder where it leads. Okay, I call this Microsoft Screensaver Land. It only shows up after you defeat the glitch. Hello, rat. Shows up as Debug Maze. It's a rat. It's dead. Yeah, and tips their hat. Oh, so many toilets. Finally. Hmm. Oh, well. Hello, rat. I haven't died yet, I swear. I got better. I feel fine. Welcome home, honey. Uh, thank you, I guess. Some women have a thing for cyborg eyes. Nothing matters anyway. The prototypical television. Hi. Uh, your surroundings are very nice. I made all these cool traps and, and none even made it to the game. Well, at least my dreams of becoming a trap master seems a lot more likely. We do have to live for our dreams, don't we? Or something. Another dead rat. My work is never done. Well, at least you have a glass of water and a floorberg. Whoa. Didn't I talk to you? Every turn in life is ultimately a dead end. You got that right. Whoa, you're big. Countless voices of the damned wailing in unison. I didn't make the cut. They just can't see talent. What arrogant fools they are. These high-paid executive fools think they can just throw me away? Leave me out to rot? Well, they'll regret it. I'm going up. Starting, the whole, starting a whole new life. You heard me. I won't be buried under the weight any longer. Fair enough. I quit the order of the archaeologists to focus on my own goals, but somehow ended up here instead. Is this nowhere? Neat. You think you can go around just snatching up piss upgrades? You see? Well, think again, buddy. Not me. And tips their hat. I don't even understand. Oh, it's Chad. Now I understand. What's going on? Where am I? Let me out of here. A fair comparison. Can I steal this? My executive told me talking mascots are too overdone these days. I don't know where I'll go from here. Hi, I'm Dindigar's second cousin, Wendy. Nice. I didn't get included this time around, but watch out for me in the spin-off, Crypt World's Dindigar's Avenged, coming this fall. Somehow I doubt that. Hello, giant bug. I'm the 11th bug, but they said the game only needed 10. I guess that means that they can just throw me back here and forget about me. Gah, the nerve. Well, this certainly 
is laggy. It might be time to leave. Oh boy. Dead me's. Mom? I don't know who this is. What is this? Dad, is that you? Oh, that, that seems nice. Oh man, the lag. That was the last thing to show. Well, maybe Mule's Lair is next. As you can see, the truck has moved now. And inside... Every time I walk in here, it starts glitching out fraps. I don't know if fraps can handle this much random information. It's very possible. I assume this is Mule. If I can talk to him for just a frame... He says Mule, which sounds very much like a Pokemon. I gotta get out of here. This is really messing up fraps. Oh man. Almost at the ladder. There we go. Okay. <laughs> yes, sir, that certainly was a thing. Except for one ruins, the Omega ruins. Uh, we've pretty much seen everything. And uh, I'm rich as hell. So I don't really need anything. So next episode... Let's end the game. At least three times. <laughs>